Yo, 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 what's poppin', what's poppin', it's your boy Cam the Trucker checking in, man, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit for you, boy. This ain't finna be a long video, it might or might not, it just depends on where I wanna go with this shit. So, man, I'm at orientation, man, I gotta go out with a local driver, um, doing flatbed out here in Chicago. Gotta go out with a local driver today and tomorrow, and then Monday I should be rolling out. Um, I had some, uh, little hiccups. Because I was gonna go with another company. I, I wasn't gonna tell nobody, but fuck it. I'm gonna tell y'all, let y'all know what's going on. But, uh, I had some hiccups this week. I was gonna go with another company or whatever, um, called Altex, aka DVL Express, Altex Logistics. They a flatbed company too. Uh, out of Chicago, man. But when I got there, man, it was great. Every, everything they told me was basically a lie, man. They told me I can use my free real card. I get there. I can't use my free real card. So I'm like, okay, cool. That wasn't a deal breaker for me. It wasn't a deal breaker. So then I'm like, okay, so how much discounts I'm going to get with you guys free real card? He like, y'all don't, you don't get the discount. I'm like, okay, now that's the deal breaker for me. If I can't, if I can't use my free real card, then I can't use your free real card and get a discount then I might as well be doing a lease purchase or some shit. So, it's cool. So, I was like, all right, I let that ride. That was day one. They had already told me that. That was day one. That was like Monday. So, I right, Tuesday come around, you know, they uh, inspected my truck or whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, my truck passed inspection. And then, you know, I get in there and I start talking to account. I'm like, well, um, they told me that y'all was going to, you know, front the bill if we needed, if we had breakdowns or whatever. He was like, nah, we don't do that either. I'm like, what? So I right, we started talking about deductions. The deductions ran out to about where my first deduction, my first deduction of my first paycheck was going to be like $1,400 or whatever. So um, that was a really a red flag. They had a lot of deposits and shit for trailer rental and all that shit like that. But one thing I know about flatbed, you got to pay what you weigh, especially if you're using their equipment. That was going to put a headache rack on my truck. This company that I'm with right now going to do all of this shit. They're going to charge me $1,700 for the headache rack. And they're going to chop it up into paychecks uh, for me. But I just wanted to tell y'all what was going on. I think this, uh, the trying to do just pulled up. We got to go deliver a load, a little oversized load this morning. But um, everything good right now at the company I'm with that I didn't, you know. But I didn't have all my eggs in one basket, though, y'all. Like I said, I applied for seven different companies in Chicago. Got approved for all of them. <laughs> I just chose one. Then I went with another one. This one right here. So everything good, man. If I would have had all my eggs in one basket, I probably would have been fucked. Had a, you know what I'm saying? I would have been probably going back to Texas or some shit. So man, this company I'm with right now, uh, they cool people, man. They gonna put the headache rack on my truck. They gonna basically get my truck ready to, you know, do its thing. You know, I had to take a road test. With the flatbed trailer, knock that shit out, bag that bitch up. That shit was a walk in the park. So, man, everything good, though, man. I just wanted to tell y'all about that all text logistics situation, man. I might even do, I don't even know if I'm gonna even do a little review. I might even put the title DVL all text logistics review, man. They some real scammers over there, man. I'm telling you, man. They some swindlers, man. For real, for real. But, man, I'm gonna roll out, man. I'm gonna let y'all know about these, um, What's going on later, man? This guy texting me. He ready for me to roll with him. All right, man. Love y'all. Yeah, man. So this all takes logistics, DVL Express shit, man. Um, man, when I say, man, if y'all looking at this, man, don't do it to yourself. I don't care if you come in and drive and lease operator or whatever, whatever. Man, it's just the whole vibe over there that they got. It ain't it, bro. From the, uh, the HR manager, Eugene. Uh, he was talking to us or whatever the first day, right? So the second day, this just how, how fucked up people is, bro. So the second day he come through, you know, me, I'm a real respectable uh, person or whatever. I'm like, good morning. He might rock right past me, didn't say shit the second day. I'm like, damn. I said this straight to him, like, damn. So he walked back through, me and another driver was talking or whatever. I just, the driver had spoke to him too. He walked right past him again. Didn't say nothing to him. Like, he ain't say nothing to me or him. I'm like, this nigga tripping. So that was a red flag anyway. I'm like, yeah, I'm from the road, man. I'm probably from the road. I'm probably from the get on up out of here. Because I don't know what these folk got going on, man. Trying to put me in the blender, the first 48. Swindle blender, you know. 
So, man, like I say, man, I'm over here at this company. Everything seemed cool, man. You know, um, I actually had to get back in my truck or whatever because we looking for an empty trailer or whatever with the little local driver or whatever. He a cool dude uh, training me or whatever. Real cool cat, man. So, man, we out here just trying to get to the money. I talked to the owner operators over here now at this company I'm at. She, he say he grossing. Nice little bag over here, so. Shit, I'm just trying to get to it, man. Shit. Like I say, if I would have had all my eggs in one basket, I probably would have been fucked. And man, we just living life, bro. We blessed. I can't complain about nothing. I think I made a good decision on getting my own truck because look, when that DVL um or Altex shit popped off, guess what I did? I crunked my truck up and got the fuck on up out of there. But guess what? If I was a company driver and all this shit, they didn't bought my flight, guess what I got to do? I got to suck it up. If I was a lease driver, I got to suck it up and do what I need to do. Because guess what? I ain't got no I ain't got no other means of transportation to do what I want to do. But nah, when I when you got your own shit, you control everything. So get what I did. Got the fuck on up out of there. So man, if anybody from that particular company looking at this video, man, y'all ain't got to do better. Y'all got to stop lying to folks. About the deductions just to get them in. Okay, you gonna train motherfuckers on flatbed who got experience driving a truck, who don't have experience doing flatbed. But bro, you gotta do better, man. As far as communicating, my recruiter Tony, badass communication. He couldn't barely even talk to me. We texting. He said he telling me yes to everything, but then I get there, it's a whole nother thing. So bam, I dip off. I pull off. I'm like, man, I'm gone. My boy. Who was at the uh, place with me He texts me like bro they looking for you bro Like they scrambling around like oh shit he gone Damn right I'm out of here I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on So boom they called me like 10 times The recruiter texts me like bro don't worry about it bro I got all that situated bro I don't know why they told you that You can use your free card We gonna help you out with the man I'm like man I'm already fit. I'm already out of way going to the other company What are we talking about so, man, that's the shit, man, you got to really look for out here, man. Like, motherfuckers really be just trying to get over on uh, on operators. But, like I say, shit, hey, I did what, what was best for me and my family. Shit, I got the fuck on gone. He calling me, telling me, man, everything good, man. Just come on back. No, it's dead. It's over with. Y'all was playing so much hardball when I was there because I'm telling y'all, like, bro, that's my final straw. Like, I'm not signing no contract unless y'all doing that on my terms, bro. They was playing hardball. So when they, they ain't know I was going to crank up and get up out of there on they motherfucking ass. That was they. See, when you do that, then everybody want to come to their senses. Nah, we, we really need some uh, to build our own operator fleet up. Like, come on, bro. Make it make sense for me. So now, everything good. Now, uh, all text DVL Express, everybody want to. Yeah, we got you, bro. Don't worry about nothing. We, we going to do it, bro. Now that you done left. Man, I'm, I'm already an hour away, bro, bro. I'm good out here. For real. So, man, that's just what's going on, man. I wanted to tell y'all, man, shit. Shout out to my haters, too, man. Shout out to all my haters, man. Y'all real motivation to the streets, man. I love y'all. Y'all, man, motivate me like a motherfucker. Y'all gonna motivate me to pay my truck off in three months, man. I'm telling y'all. I'm really telling y'all what's going on, man. I'm paying the truck off in three months. For real. I can't make it up to y'all. Shout out to the haters, man. When I do that, then, like, what y'all gonna say? What y'all gonna say now? He didn't got a truck in three months. He didn't paid it off in three months. Boom. Stop playing with me. God damn it, boy. All right, y'all. I'm really gone this time, y'all. I know I'm supposed to be gone, but I'm back. But, I'm, yeah, I'm gone now. All right.